Hello and welcome to this presentation of Excel to Sage. My name is Ara Martirosian and I'm going to show you how easy it is to import a multi-company journal from Excel into multiple Sage 200 companies simultaneously with just one click. So what's Excel to Sage? Well, Excel to Sage is an import utility which allows you to import things into Sage products. So it can be used to import data from EPOS systems, web shops, billing systems, and it has been successfully integrated into various third-party applications such as iPhone and iPad order-taking applications like Handshake, uh, EDI Gateway, um, like Transalis for importing EDI orders into Sage and exporting EDI invoices back into uh, the EDI gateway, as well as web-based applications such as Ruby CRM. It's available in different uh, uh, types, so Excel to Sage allows you to import data from Excel, SQL to Sage allows you to import data from a SQL database into Sage, EDI to Sage allows you to transact with your partners using EDI transactions, and PDF to Sage, which allows you to import purchase ledger invoices that suppliers email you in PDF format into Sage with 100% accuracy. So what kind of transactions can be imported? Well, it depends on the version of Sage that you have, but pretty much all the day-to-day -day imports are uh, available. So not just the customers and suppliers and products, which are master records, but day-to-day -day transactions like purchase orders and sales orders and product invoices and service invoices and bank transactions, for example, in Sage 50. So how could you use this import? Well, you could use it for posting different types of journals. So you could just post an ordinary single company journal, which is a normal type, but you could use a multi-company journal. So for example, instead of having to go into company one and posting journals there and then coming out, going into company two and posting journals there and then coming out and going into company three and posting journals and coming out and so on, you could set up all of those journals in one handy Excel spreadsheet and, and the application will then go into each one of those companies and post those journals for you, which is what I'm going to show you in a second. But the system can also post inter and intercompany journals. So if you needed to transfer some costs from company one to company two, all you would have to do is to say company one debit £10, company two credit £10, and the application would put in the intra or intercompany postings into the designated accounts for you including the automatic balancing entries. It's seamless and it just needs one click to import, as you'll see in a second, and it's available for other versions of uh, Sage products like Sage 50, 500 and 1000. So let's have a look at it in action. So here's the Excel spreadsheet that I've created <clears throat> and uh, column A is showing me the companies that it's going to go into. And I've got companies B1, B2 and B3, BC1, BC2 and BC3 for this example. That's the nominal code, cost center and department code that it's going to go to. Uh, the journal reference is E2S004. I've put just some details on the line. I've got a date for the journal and I've got some values which are 400. And this is the summation of that and we can see that that balances to zero. So the journal can continue. So what I'll do is I'll just, uh, I don't know, make that 444 for example. Accept that, save that journal. And this is a 101 or 102 line journal. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, it's 102 lines. So what I'll do now is just uh, close Excel down. And go into Sage. <clears throat> so in Sage, I'm in company three. Let's go into company one to start with. Open that up. There we are, and that's the account. If I look at the transaction inquiry, the last entry was £333. So let's close that. So let's open up Excel to Sage and see what that looks like. So this is Excel to Sage. I'm not going to do a single company journal. I'm going to do an intercompany journal. And before I do that, I'll start a new log file. And uh, these are the companies that I want to post my intercompany transactions to using Excel to Sage. So that's already been set up. So what I'll do is I'll go and press one button and off it goes. It's now starting to upload the journal from the Excel spreadsheet. It's now going to go into company BC1, BC2, BC3, and that's 100 lines posted for you successfully. And in the log file, if I refresh that, we can see all the transactions that were imported. Dead easy. Right, so let's come out of Excel to Sage and go into Sage. So here we are in Sage. Let's have a look at the transaction inquiry. 
And there we are, those are 444 pounds. And if I look at the details of that, and these are all the lines on that Excel spreadsheet, which are related to company one. Similarly, I can come out of company one, go into company two, and in company two, let's just pick uh, this particular account and look at the transactions on it. And again, there's the 444. And if I look at the details on that, I can see that uh, these are the lines that that related to. And obviously, finally, company three. And look at the entries in that particular company. That's a different account. There's £444. Look at the details for that. And there we are. It's that easy. So we've just imported 102 lines across three different companies with just one click. So what are the benefits? It's very quick and cost effective. It's extremely easy to use. Quick to set up. The setup is potentially less than uh, a day, or typically less than a day. And it can be changed very easily because you've got all the functionality in uh, Excel. It makes processing a lot more efficient. So uh, you can uh, forget about having to um, uh, key things in and out all the time, and printing things out. And uh, uh, it allows you to do things like reversing journals by just changing the Excel spreadsheet very quickly. Thank you for your interest in Excel to Sage. Uh, please feel free to contact me on aura at excel2sage.co.uk if you have any questions or if you'd like to discuss your import requirements. Thank you.